This is one of the most important uh, s concepts. It should be really simple, but a lot of companies don't understand the 510k process. It's very different from Canadian licensing. It's very different from CE marking. So this is one case where a lot of our international customers really get a lot of value out of our firm because we're able to explain this chart. This is just the decision flow chart for the 510k process and it has six decision points. But the first one is, does your predicate, is your predicate device that you've selected a legally marketed device? Well, how do you determine that? Well, we can help you select a predicate device. You might have thought of one, but it might not be a suitable one or legal. So that's one of the things that we help companies with is identifying your predicate. Next, does the, your device have the same intended use as the predicate device? So that's one of the key things we help companies with is potentially rewriting your indication for use to match the predicate, revising the wording, doing an analysis, say, is this close enough to what the predicate is in order to get through the 510K process? Because if it's not, you, no matter what you do, you're, gonna, you're never gonna succeed in the 510K submission if you have an indication for use that doesn't match the predicate closely enough. Then the next part, and this is what a lot of companies focus on, and it's really the third step and not as important as the other two, and that is, what are the differences in technological characteristics between your device and another? So you might identify another device that has the exact same technological characteristics as your device, but if it has a different intended use, you can't use that as a predicate. So that's, a lot of people focus on number three when really decision number two is much more important. And then number four, five, and five A, sorry, four, five A and five B are where a lot of the testing comes in to try to show the difference in technological characteristics are acceptable. And you can often negotiate that with the FDA. So that's where some experience comes in handy and knowing what questions to ask the FDA.